<laughs> okay, the little goblin and I are here to talk about a Kings of War, Goblins vs. Basilia uh, battle report, 1,250 points, which is small like her, and the invade scenario, and this video for you is a too long, didn't watch video. It's going to be short and quick, um, and if you're interested in something a little bit more in-depth to see all of the... Uh, better moves that I did not make, uh, click on the link in the video description to see that video. So here we are. The deployment, the battlefield, the goblins yeah. are trying to invade the Basilian homeland. You. And what are the goblins trying to go get? What are they going to go steal? Your treasure? Their treasure. But the Basilians, they do not want this. Baron Vaughn Neverwinds has assembled some valiant Paladins and men at arms, and they will defend the valley. I saw your well, it will be my treasure because I'm leading the goblin forces. I oh, know. They're taking your treasure. Yes, Baron von Neverwinds has drawn a line in the sand and has said, Men, let's not let the goblins come any further. But the goblin said, Give me that treasure, let me hear. Give me that oh, that's exactly what the goblins would sound like. So the goblins strike first, peppering the enemy with bows and arrows and vile goblin magic. What a vile goblin magic sound like? Um, I... Uh, I... Yeah. I... I... Um... I want to tell you if I can see your their points. Oh, yeah. That was the damage that the goblins did with the vile goblin magic. And the flea bag riders sneak through but on the is, left flank. Why it's two on that one and one on that one? Different damage. The, and plow? Yeah, the Basilians, though, have an iron resolve and shake off the attacks. And they march forward, unperturbed about the goblin horde amassing in front of them. And what do they say? You shall not pass. Let me hear you say that. You cannot pass. Perfect. Uh, the goblins, they continue to har harry their, their foes, giving false fronts on the left flank and making uh, crazy desperate charges at the largest of the Basilian forces. Um... They continue to attack. They continue to do damage and I try and whittle away. This thing. Yes, because we're the goblins. Let's crush. Not the, the but the Basilians, they decide to fight back. They are not goaded into making bad moves. And they just charge, trying to take out one of the largest uh, hordes of goblins. But the goblins were smart and tricky putting uh, obstacles in the Basilian's way to slow them down. And while the crazy goblins got destroyed, the little rabble regiment, the rabble horde, is still strong. And the goblin flea bag riders have positioned themselves for a sneaky <laughs> flank. And so the goblins continue to do damage all along the entire Basilian front. They have been unable to take any of the Basilian units off the battlefield uh, as they continue to fight on and be strong. But in the third turn of combat, the goblins have made... Um, uh, Start, start showing the cracks in the Basilian armor as the knights become wavered. Hold strong, men! Is that what the Basilian general would say? Yeah. We must protect our knights while they yeah. get their wits about them. Uh -huh. They've failed their headstrong role, but we will not let them perish. Charge! Charge! <laughs> and so the Basilian army countercharges everywhere. They flank the rabble, they flank the other rabble, and then they flank the third rabble. They have a vendetta against goblin rabble because they are the stinkiest 
and the squirreliest of all the goblins. And they giggle and laugh, and they must be destroyed. Yeah, and so they were. Baron Von Neverwinds targeted them all, and they were all destroyed. He's a little upset about his one contingent of men-at-arms who can't seem to deal with the single um, uh, fleabag rider who's got this magical dragon breath, but um, he clears away the battlefield and dares with that uh, uh, overconfident grin the, for the goblins to strike back. And do the goblins strike back, little goblin? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Look, how many times did they rout the Pacillian forces? So many. Well, specifically two. They once again flank charge the knights who what failed their headstrong. Yes, that's the one right there. They could not get not back into the battle. This one is two, and this one is, is, is take out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The what? goblins... They take their pound of Basilian flesh. Okay. They've been held off, unable to get into the Basilian half of the battlefield, but they start amassing uh, or, or, or striking down the Basilian forces. Are the forces of Basilia uh, worried? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they should be because we're goblins, right? Let me hear your best goblin call. No! Guess what a goblin says? No? <laughs> no, you will not rout us in the fourth turn. Do they rout the goblins? No. No, but they do waver them on some pretty easy or very hard rolls, low damage. Oh, no. Are the goblins faltering, Mora? Yeah. Uh-oh, is that good? No. No, it is not. Only two damage, only three damage. Why did we keep the trolls in the back for so long? They've done nothing. In the first turn, they're in combat. They're getting hurt, and they're getting wavered. Uh-oh. Are things looking good for our goblins? No. No. Oh, no. Turn four. The goblins try desperately to muster some sort of uh, counterattack. They need to get in and steal all of that Basilian treasure. And yes, so they attack... Yes, yes. And they're unable to do much damage. Their numbers have been greatly reduced. And and then they, they pretty much crumble under the forces of Basilia. They had thought that they were going to have a six-day battle. Yeah. But before the sixth day comes, they... Scurry and run like the little pesky goblins they are. And the day is one for Basilia. What's the score? Uh, Look right up here. Oh, yours? Yeah, 8 0 in favor of those Basilian soldiers. The glorious horde was destroyed. The goblins lost, Mora. The goblins lost. What do you yeah. say? Go uh, goblins? Yeah, go goblins. Go, womp, go. womp, womp, womp. They're trying to draw us this. They can't see it. <laughs>